up. Cat's over the top of it. All right, number one, Hannah's got the ball. She's heading for her end zone. First, we'll watch the two, which is the player kind of with his back toward us. The number, the red number, the red number two is what we're looking at. The red number one has just picked up the ball, and he's looked back over and sees that his player has the ball. So um, she's not quite up to him. In other words, her his ball carrier is slightly uh, behind him, and so he should be uh, up against one side of a player and not push them, giving her the option to go by. He's very, She's very close. She's not going to be going over to the sideline to go around him to get next to that player. And to get up against next to that player, he would have to be moving toward his ball carrier, so he shouldn't do that. Once he sees she's got it, and he would have to be moving toward, a ball, toward his ball carrier to mark up a player, what he should do is just stop. Just stop right there. Let that player next to him go on up to the ball and if they want to and uh then pick them up later now he, here he actually does pick her up and he's actually pushing her toward his ball carrier uh and he is too close to the pack to be of any assistance if she wanted to throw it back and she he's not defending or riding anybody away or keeping them away from the ball carrier. Good work, Victoria picks it up, and for her first check in two and a half years, she's in the speed zone. She's got Clayton looking at her. There it is, Helen Jones is handing Nick go down the field. Tapped by Jared, but he can't hang on to it. Oh, he does snag it. Beautiful work by Harley for Jared. Nice stop. All right, Victoria's going to come on in as the horse race down the field. Cat's pushing hard on Jadel. Nice square stop, Harley. You let him work on you. There you go. Clayton swings on by. He takes a little bit of heat. He's looking for Hannah. Lobs it out. And First, we're going to talk about the red number two. And he's not really on the screen yet, but that is his number three that just picked up the ball in the end zone. So she'll be wanting to bring it out of the end zone. So our red number two should be uh, trying to get clear uh, to be available for a pass if she wants to throw it about the pass and stay away from the middle. So um, we just have to assume he's in the field. But when he comes on the screen, he's not really staying away from the middle. He was really standing right in the middle of the field. Um, but it looks like here he's making a break to get away from the person that's defending him uh, to make himself available, clear for a pass. And she does want to pass it to him. He is pretty clear for a pass. Um, it's not the best position in the world to be in, but he did get in front of her, and the ball carrier was actually trying to throw it to him so you kind of give him that that he was fairly clear for the pass so then the ball actually like bounces off his racket and goes down uh but he picks it up again and he's got that same defender on his non-stick side so that's okay but then when he turns back toward the middle of the field he's turning right into an opposing opposing player uh letting putting himself uh under pressure but he avoids getting the ball hit away from them and then turns towards the open field um his teammate just slightly in his way to get you know, run directly away from those opposing players. And then he's just headed off the field. One person on his non-stick side, that's not a problem. He, it wouldn't hurt for him to connect forward of her and just hold her so she doesn't get forward and bend him. Uh, but really not any problem. At first it wasn't any problem, 
but he does have a defender coming up on his stick side again and you see him checking up so he's uh pretty much resigned to let that player get within reach of his racket and then try to hang on to the ball by swinging it or maneuvering his horse or something rather than uh maintaining his speed and passing it off to his free player so that opposing player comes up on his stick side and he he uh, the opposing player saw he was checking up and he and the opposing player checked up also then our number two took off again and he the opposing player took off again and eventually met up with our ball carrier uh, to swing at his racket when he has a defender on his left side and can't turn away to get away from the racket. But he does avoid that player and then instead of turning right to get back to the middle of the field he turns toward the other opposing player exposing his racket to a second player. But she doesn't bother him he does get away and gets the pass off just before they can swing at his racket again okay now we'll watch the red number three and of course she's just gotten the ball in the end zone and here when she gets uh you know some a defender on her decides to turn she s does turn away from him then she runs back within reach of his racket so I don't know if that's all that good but she uh, she does get past him and runs up to deliver a pass to her uh, number two who's out there just got clear for it as soon as she threw that pass it becomes a loose ball situation so as soon as it comes out of her racket and as soon as her another person on her team is closest to it which would be right about now uh, she should be acting like a loose ball situation and she should be marking up that light gray player to her right should just be automatic throw the pass out as soon as it gets close to your other player you just pick up that player that is marking you up but she doesn't pick him up isn't even looking for him toward him and then as the ball bounces off of her her own player's racket, uh, he is still closer to it, so she should still be uh, acting like a loose ball situation and riding off that light gray player. So now when her player gets hold of it, now it is a her team carrying the ball situation, and her ball carrier is downfield of her or in front of her basing you know just considering the direction of the field and so her appropriate position if she's going to be marking somebody up would be between her ball carrier and say that light gray player however to get to mark up either one of these players she would have to be moving toward her ball carrier so at this instant, when as soon as it becomes a uh, not a loose ball situation anymore, and her team has the ball, and she is in this position because she didn't mark up people she's supposed to, she should not go to mark them up now. So if she's not marking up one of those players, what she should be doing is uh, staying upfield of her ball carrier and hopefully about 15 yards in field of him and it looks like she's kind of head in that direction but she's getting herself too close to the pack she actually turned closer to the pack than when she turned first turned around uh, so she wasn't trying to get herself in that ideal position and she's let herself go close so close to the pack when her ball carrier tries to turn away from those other players, he just almost collides with her because she had gotten so close to the pack. She wasn't far enough away to be uh, clear for a pass, but she's also 
kind of in the way for him to get have some maneuvering room. So now when his player gets running down the field, now for her to go mark up that light gray player, she would have to be moving toward her ball carrier. So she should not try to mark up that light gray player. What she should do is wander more towards the middle of the field. Staying behind him is fine, but but she should be not directly behind him, but towards the middle of the field, and I like it to be about 15 yards uh, away from him, 15 yards towards the middle of the field from him. So she's doing correct, like she's not going out to go try to ride off that light gray player. She is just hanging back to make herself available, but she should be a little bit farther towards the middle of the field. And she kind of continues um, just trailing back, still in a good position. It'd be better if she were further to her right, but she is in a position where she's available for a pass if he wants to pass it to her. And now when he turns and gets to kind of turns toward her, and now she's in a position where she can move away from her ball carrier to mark up a player now it's appropriate for her to mark up that light gray player who is now on her right and that's what she does and she holds him until the ball carrier gets the ball thrown back into the end zone So we'll be watching the red number two this time. The red number two is the red player farthest to the right of the screen right now. And his number one has just picked up the ball and gotten possession of the ball. So he's downfield, or in, in, he's in front of his ball carrier when his team has the ball. So what he wants to do is get sideways, just get up against any other player facing downfield and just stand sideways up against them, freeing up that one side for your ball carrier to go all around if she wants to. So no matter what the, the ball carrier does, if you are up in front, you don't even have to pay attention to what the ball carrier does. You just get up against that one player, and he has done it. He has done exactly what he's supposed to do right there. Right there, he's in the perfect position. And so all he has to do is just stand there as long as his ball carrier is maneuvering around behind him and he's doing his job by just staying up against one side of that one player. But you can see he overrode that player and so he's not holding that clear net that one side anymore so he quit doing the right thing. And now that he's in this position it would be it would not be correct for him to come back toward his ball carrier to pick up that player that he lost. If he did lose the player like this and get out of that position, he's better off by just stopping right where he is, just stopping and standing still, and he would be in a very, a, a very good position to be clear for a pass when the player he's defending runs over toward his ball carrier. But he doesn't just stop. He turns back, going back, now moving toward his ball carrier, I guess, to mark up another player. So we know that's not appropriate for him to go toward his ball carrier. And now he's circled back around, and he's, in order to mark up a player, he'd have to be going toward his ball carrier. So his best thing to do right now is to drift a little bit more left away from the pack so he would be available for a pass rather than going up toward his ball carrier and up uh, where all the opposing players are to mark up a player. So he's okay there. He could be hanging off a little bit farther left and not being headed toward more, so much toward the pack, but his ball carrier gets up to the 30-yard line. First, we'll watch the red number three, and that will be the red player that's close, that is far, uh, most to the left on the screen. <clears throat> and 
and her number one has just picked up the ball. Her number one is in front of her, um, and all the defenders, all the people on the other team are in front of her player, so she should not ride toward her player to mark up a player. So what should she do? One good thing to do would be just stop and stand still. But <clears throat> she elects to go toward her ball carrier to mark up a player, which was not uh, the right thing to do. But once she gets in about this position and her, bar, her, her ball carrier is turning back, now she can go not move toward her ball carrier but move sideways up against that dark gray player. And since she, her ball carrier is behind her, she would just get flat up against that dark gray player and stand right up against him on one side. But she overrides that position. Now to mark that player up, she'd have to be moving toward her ball carrier, so it's not appropriate for her to mark that player up anymore, nor to go mark up the light gray player. Uh, if she felt like it, she could go way down there and mark up the pink player. Um, but that pink player is a three and isn't <coughs> going to deal with her, the one back up here until later. If she doesn't go up there after the pink player, what should she do? She should just stop and stand still. So um, it looks like she might be starting to just drift kind of drift downfield away from the pack but right here she takes off to go mark up probably that dark gray player and she's moving towards her ball carrier to do that so she should not be doing that she should have stayed off there drifting off outside the pack Victoria off to bring it out herself. Nice snag. She turns away from pressure with Clayton. Looking for a little bit of space. Jared picks up Clayton and now Victoria only has Cat, which is no fun. All right. She decides to challenge forward. Nope. She's moving back. She's got some space. There you go. She's got Gray all over her. It's going to be a horse race. Hannah needs to look up. Oh, I don't know if we're going to make it. Where First, we'll watch the red number two farthest to the left of the screen right now. His number three is bringing out of the area, and now she has the ball. And at this point, he was supposed to have been making himself clear for a pass until she came out. Once she came out, and now she's carrying it down the field, now he should mark up a player if he does not have to go towards his ball carrier but he would have to move toward his ball carrier to mark up a player so he should just stop and stand still remain facing uh, downfield the way he or his team is trying to move the ball but he does move toward his ball carrier and I assume is to mark up a player because he's still heading that direction just now rather than remaining facing down the field away from the pack where she might have thrown it to him when she turned around and both those players were on her uh, but that's still what he should have done and could still even do now stop and stand still she could run around behind him peeling off one of the defenders so once she turns and starts going around behind him now he can move away from her to mark up that light gray player and what he wants to do is just get up beside him, having him facing directly down the field and just staying on one side of him, holding him to hold one side of the field clear for the ball carrier to go on. And he's kind of off the screen, so we can't see uh, if he's continuing to do that for a while. So as he's maybe still holding that one player in midfield, our ball carrier is dealing with one player shouldn't be a problem but here we can see that he's let his player get away from him which is okay but then he's gone toward his ball carrier to mark up that player and that's not okay 
So here when his ball carrier turns, he does start moving away, and he could be available for a pass. Matt, I don't know if that's why he's moving away, but that is the appropriate thing for him to do rather than fo following that light gray player toward his ball carrier. And it looks like he might be trying to drift away, get headed back downfield, and be open for a pass. So here's ball carrier has the option of passing to him. He's a little bit closer to him than I'd like. I'd like for him to be a little farther away. And then she's getting two players on her, so he really needs to be aware that she should want to be passing him the ball. So he should be a little farther from the pack than that than he is behind her level of uh, that, how far she is down the field. And if she's to one side of the field, be towards the middle of the field. And I like it to be about 15 yards uh, sideways away from her. And it could be back behind her from any distance of 0 to 30, 40 yards. So he continues, I assume, down the field. And he should be drifting behind her and off to the side where she should get him a pass. And he seems to be in a pretty good position right there where she could have passed it over to bounce in front of him and he could have carried it on down the field. Now we'll watch the red number three who's bringing the ball out of the area. And uh, she brings the ball, bounce, takes her, her uh, bounce over the line toward another player, which, you know, she could have very easily taken it to her offside, but she did that. Um, but one thing she does right is as soon as she retrieves the ball again, that player's on her right side, she turns away from him. So that part she did well. Then she turns back around and does something else well. She had a choice of of running but like between those two defending players or keeping them both on her non stick side and she kept them both on her non stick side, letting her her uh teammate pick up one of the players and then she only has one and he's on his non stick side. So that's she did well that time. And here running across there it's keeping that player on her non stick side, that's fine. Running to the side of the field, that's fine. And whenever she feels like turning, turns away from her. Um, and she does that here, and that's correct. Then the player comes up on her other side, and she turns away from her here, and that's correct. Then when she gets to this point, she has a choice of going to the right, keeping both those players on her left side, or going between those players uh, and done right, done correctly, either one of those moves is very good. You'd go to the right, should go straight and keep both those players on her on her left side if she planned to pass it off. If she planned to carry the ball herself, she would go left. Okay, she chose to go left between them both, but she doesn't make that move correctly. What she should have done is turned left, gotten around the light gray player, and then ridden off directly up against the dark gray player and carried on straight across the field behind her defending player, let her defending her teammate mark up the light gray player and free up that whole side of the field where she can have the whole field to run down by herself. But she doesn't go that way correctly going around her teammate she elects to go between the two defending players and not have anybody uh, not use her teammate to help her get down the field so they uh, get her in that she has no alternative except to try to outrun them or pass it back to her spare teammate and she isn't able to do either one of those Give her a nice chop there. 
guy giving her the pressure back. Pegs takes her three. Off. Okay, first of all, we're going to watch the red number two, who's not on the screen yet. But as her teammates bring it out of the air, she should have been trying to uh, get clear for a pass. Once it's out, she should uh, mark up a player if she can do it without going toward her ball carrier. But what she's doing is exactly wrong. She's going toward her ball carrier to mark up the player that's already on her ball carrier rather than marking up that player behind her. So she kind of does the wrong thing there and then realizes she's not being any benefit there, is actually in the way, and finally checks back to pick up the player that she should have been uh, riding off from the beginning. And uh, when she does finally pick her up off the screen, but as she comes back on the screen, it's still appropriate for her to be riding her off because she's angling her uh, and angling herself away from her ball carrier. Okay, now watch the red number three who's bringing it out of the area, and she does just about everything correctly. Here she's only got one player on her, and she stays back with that player rather than ra racing forward and letting that player switch sides, keeps her on her non-stick side and controls her until she thinks she can outrun her, and she goes ahead and takes off and, sure enough, is able to outrun her. First we'll watch the red number two, and that's the player that is just picking up the ball. The red player that's farthest, kind of in the center of the screen, but farthest to the left of the screen. And she's She's just picked up the ball, and she's heading the direction she does not want to go. Her goal is actually behind her, um, and it is appropriate to run away to get clearance once you first get the ball and let your teammate set up. So she does want run away a little bit, gets herself some clearance from all the defending players, and then when she turns back and gets to this point, she has kind of three correct choices of ways to go and one not so correct. This first correct one is probably the most conservative. Uh, she'd turn away again to the left, put that first blue player on her non-stick side and control that player and come over to the middle of the field where her teammate can control the other player and she would be controlling both players all the way down to the 30 yard line. Then this next correct one, she keeps her momentum staying out of reach of that blue player to, that's behind her, but goes to the right of her, her player and keeping both the players on her nonstick side except for the player that her other player will pick up. And then the next one would be going to in front of her defending player but keeping that blue player that's uh, downfield of her on her non-stick side. And then the last uh, method is going uh, next to that blue player that's downfield of her on her stick side. And the only way that would be a cor the correct thing to do is if you could swing out wide wide enough around her that you were outside of reach of her racket. So she chose to take, take that one player. I think she went too close to her uh, to make it the correct way to do, but she, uh, she wasn't in much danger and got past her. This time I watched the red number three. She's the closest to the camera right now. Her teammate has just picked up the ball and is going upfield of the way they want to go. So what she should do, since she is in front of her ball carrier, is turn around, face the direction she wants to go, and get just completely up against one of those other blue players behind her, um, protecting one side of the field for her teammate to go to come past down the field. 
So you can tell she doesn't just go right away and start marking up somebody. So when her player gets turned around and headed down the field, she's not already uh, set out a clear path for her ball carrier to take. Um, and when the ball carrier chooses that path and gets past her kind of to this point, now she can go away from her ball carrier and pick up that player to her left, which is what she should do. And there you can see, she does pick up that player. Since her ball carrier is in front of her, she wants to be not just flat up against her, but she wants to have her horse completely between her the def person she's defending and her ball carrier. And she pretty much connects in a good place and keeps her out of the play the rest of the way down the field. Oh, just like that, Cap misses the bounce. And Paige comes back up with it. Paige did a beautiful job of letting Cat go by her. Okay, and this one we'll watch the red number two. Uh, that's the only red player out there that's not picking up the ball. And there her team has gotten the ball. And now... Um, in order for her to ride off that blue player that's next to her, she'd have to be going toward her ball carrier. So that is actually not what she should do. Uh, at this point, she would actually have to be going toward her ball carrier to be marking up the other blue player. So the correct thing for her to do would just be stop and stand still and be available for a pass. So she starts really going the wrong way, but now here, when her her player is is turning, uh, and she can go away from her ball carrier to mark up that blue player in front of her, then it's okay. And that's pretty much what she does. Zep is number three, and she can't go any farther. Janelle had a shot. Stephanie had a shot. Heather finally comes up with the ball. Heather passes it back to Prissy. It's a little long, but Prissy comes up with it. She's got amazing racket skills. Livy's uh, lyrics get uh, stopped up by Stephanie Shuttle. Prissy's starting to look for her Heather Shuttle. Okay, first we're going to watch this blue player that's uh, farthest to the left of the screen. And I couldn't read their numbers, don't remember where they played, but um, I don't know if it's the two or the three. But it's the player that's farthest left of the screen, and it is either the two or the three. And their team has just picked up the ball, and they're wanting to go the direction that they're all facing. So in order for her teammate has just picked up the ball. For in order for her to pick up a player, she'd have to go toward her ball carrier, so that is not it's not appropriate for her to go toward her ball carrier to mark up a player. So what she should do is just hang out, wander around, out away from the pack to make herself available for a pass. And she doesn't go toward her ball carrier to mark up a player. She does kind of wander around, staying away from the pack. And sure enough, her ball carrier wants to throw it to her, and she's out there by herself, available for the pass. So once she gets the ball, she's going to have to get past all of the players on the field. And here she does something else that is wise. She doesn't have a good place to go on her own. If she went to the left of those two black players, she'd be taking a player on her stick side. If she went to the right of them, or she went between them, she'd have one on either side. That's not good. And if she went to the right of them, that player is already uh, crossways the field in a good position to mark her up and stop her. So she slows down, giving her teammate a chance to reposition. She sees her teammate coming into a position to take off one player. She, she takes the first black player on her non-stick side and she's gotten her teammate in position where the teammate will hold the other black player off of her so she should get past them with no pressure and she does get past them with no pressure has the whole field down there 
by herself to get the pass off. So this time she did everything just right. Okay, now we'll watch the other blue player, the one that is the farthest blue player to the right. She just missed picking up the ball, and her teammate right behind her, who's the number one, just picked up the ball. But anyhow, the player we're going to watch is the one farthest, the blue player that's farthest to the right on the screen right now. So the position she's in right now, it would be appropriate for her to go forward and get on the left side of that black player in front of her. It would not go be correct for her to move toward her ball carrier to pick up to that player that is coming up on the ball carrier's racket side. But it looks like she is actually almost pushing against her own player to get to that player on the black side, which to start off was not correct because she was in her own player's way uh, for her player to turn away from that black player. Uh, and it looks like her player may have actually had to turn across her hind end, possibly illegally, to turn away from her. But once she's in front of her ball, her ball carrier and is able to move away from the ball carrier to pick up the player, now it is appropriate. And since her ball carrier is behind her, she should just stay flat up against that one player, not trying to push or anything, just stay on that one side of her, giving her player that free side to get by if she wants to well her player had passed the ball off so now a different the blue player way back on the left of the screen has the ball and our the player that we're watching should not be moving toward her ball carrier to pick up another player once that player got away from her she should not chase after that ball carrier or chase after that player that she was marking up to mark up a player if she has to go toward her ball carrier to do it. So her better uh, thing to do would be just stop and stand right, right there. So her, her she would be in the clear if her ball carrier wanted to throw it to her. But she does kind of head toward her ball carrier and then it looks like she has a change of heart and is thinking maybe she shouldn't be going toward her ball carrier to mark up a player and turns back to be facing downfield which is the direction you want to be facing to be open for a pass you want to be facing the direction that you want to be going and then it looks like she has another change of heart and decides to go toward her ball carrier again once again this is not uh, appropriate by the book however her teammate was obviously slowing down giving the player we're watching time to reposition and so it would be just as appropriate for her to stand there and let the ball carrier throw the ball to her uh, out in the clear um, but since her ball carrier is kind of expecting her to do it um, even though it's not right by the book it's still okay it worked out all right so she does move toward her ball carrier, picks up that player, and her ball carrier uses her to get past that player and down the field, and uh, the player she marked up is out of the play the rest of the play. And the ball goes right down the middle. Presley comes up with it. She's going to look for an opening. She's going to hope for Stephanie to take a player, make an opening for it. Good two just hesitates the opponent. That's what Stephanie is doing. That's all you need is the hesitation. Okay, first we watch the blue number two player. Now her number three has just snagged it in the lineup, and so her team has the ball, and she should get up against a black player as long as she can do that without moving toward her ball carrier. Their black number two the position she's in now she would have to move toward her ball carrier to pick that player up so she should really not be trying to pick that player up but she should be trying to just go away from her ball carrier and pick up the black number one 
but uh, she does go after the black player and one kind of good thing for her is this ball carrier is actually maneuvering down the field she's adjusting her position and her direction based on how the play is setting up so she's actually turning back like toward the player we're watching so that that causes the player to be moving away from her angling away from her to mark up that player um, so it was the incorrect player for her to mark up but the ball carrier is helping her uh, make it more correct so now once again the the play has changed and as long as she can go completely straight our, the player we're watching to mark up that player it would be okay but it looks like the black player is angling toward the middle of the field so in order to for our player to mark her up our player has to angle toward the ball carrier which is not appropriate and still that player that she should have marked up is back there where she could move away from her ball carrier and still mark up that other black player and as long as the the two players the two blue players the ball carrier and the player we're watching were moving perfectly parallel to each other even though they're angling across the field uh, then it's okay for our player to be marking up that player because she's moving away from the ball carrier now here the ball carrier checks up to go to the left of the player we're watching and at the instant that you would need to be moving toward your ball carrier to mark up a player you should just stop stand still and you'd be in a perfect position to catch a pass but she goes after that player and now going toward her ball carrier to mark up that player is completely wrong but if she'd stop even right there once the black player got up to the ball carrier she'd be out in the open facing the direction she's want to go an appropriate distance away from the ball carrier for her to just toss the ball right to her and she continues getting it on down the field so as she is trying to mark up that player if her ball carrier had not slowed up she would have actually been pushing that black number two into her ball carrier on the stick side but the ball carrier slowed up so the black two ended up going in front of them and the ball carrier had to maneuver around that black player to get down the field but also had to slow up to maneuver around her own player who just you know cut right in front of her but as she ended up now our the player we're watching is in the perfect marking up position where she is flat up against that black number two leaving the whole right side of the field for the ball carrier to uh, move on down the field and that's pretty much what she does she holds that player off until her player gets the pass off okay <clears throat> this time we watch the blue number three she just snagged the ball out of the lineup turn around and here she does a kind of wise thing she gets away from the uh, turned away from everybody and then just sign settles down and lets the uh, field develop to pick her play pick her way to get down the field rather than just just crashing or just heading down the field regardless of where her players are and where the defender players are so she's kind of slowed things up looking there and then when she takes off down the field she's still going very casually and still picking her way down the field adjusting her speed to get past one player picking up a defender player herself you know, she actually went toward that number one so that number the black number one didn't get forward of her and bend her where she couldn't face down the field but now she has 
somebody on her left side and somebody coming up to her on her right side. And she elects, she thinks she can uh, pick her way down the field this time by checking up, and she thinks that number two, the black number two, will pass her up and not get within reach of a racket. And sure enough, the black number two does pick her, does pass her up, and then her teammate picks that black number two up so she doesn't have to worry about her, and then she gets rid of the bat ball just before the other hey, player gets to her. Ball goes up in the middle, and Stephanie Shuttles comes up with it. Gets some good wood. Gets the ball to First, we'll talk about the blue number two. And the only thing, when she snagged the ball in the lineup, she turned right back into the lineup to get down the field rather than getting away from all the other players to get down the field. So she had a black player on either side of her, but she slips past them. And once she got past, she was on her own and didn't have any more trouble uh, all the way down the field and gets the pass off to her number one in the end zone. Okay, now we watch the blue number three. Um, she didn't turn out and turn early, so she wasn't in the place that you'd expect her to be uh, once the ball comes in. But uh, her number two caught it, and she's in this position in order for, and her ball carrier is slightly ahead of the field, you know, downfield of her, so she's behind, her ball carrier is in front of her. Uh, so her appropriate position to be marking up another player would be completely between the other player and her ball carrier and she would have to move toward her ball carrier to mark up anybody so she should not be trying to mark up somebody right now what she should try to do is drift away from the pack where she's open for a pass if the ball carrier wants to throw it so she kind of doesn't go right after somebody and she is kind of drifting but she should actually be just a little farther away from the pack where she is now she's not really away from the other players enough to say she's clear for a pass. But her ball carrier doesn't seem to want to throw it anyhow and the ball carrier backs up and goes around so now her, our number three's ball carrier is behind her so our number three's appropriate position to mark up somebody is just flat up against one side of them and she's already in a pretty good position flat up against that uh, black pair player there um, so she's already in a good position uh, so far so she was in a good position she got a little bit in front and right there she's moving a little bit toward her ball carrier to get to mark up that player again um, so that wasn't really appropriate by the book but as her ball carrier moves down, now she's able to move, not be moving toward her ball carrier and mark up that player. And she should be marking it up where she is completely between that black player and the ball carrier. And she's a little bit behind. And if you get a little bit behind, you have a chance, more of a chance of losing that player. And sure enough, she does lose that player. And now as that player is now that she would have to be moving toward her ball carrier to mark up that player it's not appropriate to mark for her to go after that continue after that player to mark her up but if she angles away from her ball carrier she could pick up this uh, black player on her right still and she does finally figure out she can mark up that player and she does mark up that player up until the ball gets thrown in. She makes a nice hard pass to Renee. Renee couldn't handle it. Renee comes up with it. She's going to start looking for Paige. Paige is going to have a horse race with Renee. Hey, we'll talk about both of these red players 
at the same time in this clip. Uh, they haven't got the ball, so it's a loose ball situation, and they aren't really doing what they're supposed to do in a loose ball situation. But right here, the middle red player has just gotten possession of the ball. And uh, she's got one defender over there to her right that she decides she can just go fast and stay in front and out of reach of that other player's racket. And then the red player in the back, the number three, in order to ride off that blue player beside her, she'd have to be going towards her ball carrier. So she shouldn't go towards her ball carrier to mark up that player. Uh, her, her ball carrier ends up taking off really fast, so her just meandering around puts herself forward of the blue player where she can angle away from her ball carrier and pick him up that's what she ends up doing so here the, the ball carrier just takes out and zips in front of the player that could have been close to her and here you can see the the red number three just meandering around got her in front of and now as she uh marks up that other player she's angling away from her ball carrier so that's appropriate also Valley makes it. How about to get the bad bounce? This field is getting torn up, especially right in the middle along the D at the 30s and the T's. Making a bounce right now is probably not the best idea. Keeping it up in the air would be the higher percentage. Okay, first we'll watch the red number two, and we're not really considering what's happening when the ball is loose um in this first part of it it's still like a loose ball situation uh but right here our number two that we're watching picks it up and when she picks it up she's in a pretty good spot to be to stay in front of or she's already in front of that defender that's closest to her racket side um and she if he just maintains her speed, should probably stay in front of that player and not have to worry with him. So she does take off down front, and here she kind of gets herself in a bad situation. She's gotten her own player on her left side and a defender player coming up on her stick side. So she's going to have to deal with that player coming up without being able to turn away from them so she is able to hang on to the ball while the player that came up on a racket side swung at a racket over road but then when she takes off here again she takes off and again exposes her racket to that same player instead of either going to that player's you know, putting that player on her non-stick side or swinging farther out so she was out of reach of that other player's racket. But she gets past that player at first, and then when the player comes back toward her, she does what she should have done in the first place, turned away from the player to get behind her. And she may not have done this intentionally, but instead of making that turn away from the player when they were both facing directly downfield, she made kind of a gradual turn so the defending player was facing almost crossways to the field. So when she turns away, our ball carrier has less of a turn to make to get straightened out again rather than if she were already facing that straight down the field and had to make a complete 360-degree turn uh, once she started to turn away from that other player. And then once she got clear that time, uh, there's no more pressure on her until she gets the ball thrown in. Okay, this time we'll be watching the red number three, the player that is bringing the ball out of the end zone. Of course, uh, they miss the connection in, for a little while, so it's a loose ball situation. And um, we will only talk about what they do once they get possession of it. And right here, her 
teammate has gotten picked up the ball. And so it's really clear what she should be doing is picking up that player kind of in front of her and to her right and holding that player uh, away from getting towards her ball carrier. And she can do that without moving toward her ball carrier. So you can see she pretty picks her picks her up there when uh, she overrides just a little bit. She picks her up again and uh, pretty much holds her off almost the entire play. She just got away just before the uh, ball carrier gets thrown off, but didn't have time to get to the ball carrier to cause any problems. Ball bounces off Heather's rack and Frenzy comes up with it. Heather knows her teammate can get that ball, so she's going to just head on down to the end zone. Frenzy's getting hard marked by Larry. First, we'll watch the blue number two. And uh, her team just now has the ball. And. Um, In order for her to take that, like the black number two, she'd have to move toward her ball carrier. So she really should not take the black number two. She should turn to her right and just pick up the black number one. But uh, she continues going to her ball carrier, still trying to take that number two. And up until right now, she has been moving toward her ball carrier to do it. Uh, so that's what made it not appropriate, but now she can move away from her ball carrier to mark up that number two that she's already on, and she did actually mark her up fairly well. All she had to do is step against one side of her, didn't have to bend her or anything, just stay up against her on one side to clear that side for her ball carrier to run down the field. And then when her, when the, uh, person she's riding off turns away she shouldn't turn to follow her you really unless you're carrying the ball don't ever want to be facing anywhere other than directly down the field that's how you mark somebody up uh, that's the best position to be in to be if you'd be clear for a pass so Instead of following her around, if she would just stop staying between her and the and the uh, and her number one, even though the player she's up against has turned away from her, and then if she if that player turns back up field, she can either back up or turn away and pick her up if she has to move some distance, but staying between her and the ball carrier without moving toward the ball carrier. So she, um, you know, follows her around, and then when that player heads back toward the ball carrier, she also heads toward the ball carrier to mark her up, which is wrong. Instead of doing that, once that player gets between her and the ball carrier, or where she would have to go toward the ball carrier to mark her up, she should just stop and stand still and let her ball carrier throw her pass. So even though she's doing the wrong thing, keep that player from her ball carrier. Okay, now we'll watch the blue number three. She just snagged the ball out of the lineup, and you can tell she wasn't turning early or turning out. Um, and she caught the ball way over to her right side, where it would have been easier if she had been turning out. But um, the correct thing to do here would be turn right if she hadn't already started turning right and get away from all those players uh, to make a move down the field but uh, she elects to turn toward an opposing player and then runs away from him fortunately her teammate pulled that first player off and then 
she allowed a second player to get up against her within reach of her racket. The proper thing would be to have turned away before she got within reach of her racket. So she continues on uh, just really she wasn't really completely out of reach of the racket but I guess she stayed far enough away that the uh, defender could not get to her and then she finally turns away. And when she turns away she's faced with this situation where there are several things she could do that would be easy or to use her her teammate. The first would have been to pick up that black player that was up against her right away and just keep her on your left side and go straight into the goal. Another one would be to continue straight across the field. Let that black number one come up against her or whatever player that was that was that was already against her. And then as the other black player came toward her, she could pass off the ball to a free player. But as it turns out, the player that was against her overrode when she checked up, which gives her a, uh, a straight path all the way down up to the 30-yard line when she gets a pass off. And their shuttle comes up with the ball, looks to pass it off to her teammate, Prissy. Stephanie is trying to hold off Chanel. Okay, first we'll talk about the blue number two, which is the blue player in the middle of the screen. Her number one over here on the left side of the screen has just picked up the ball. So her job would be to pick up a player if she can do it without going toward her ball carrier. And it looks like she can go pick up that player, that black player that's to her left and and be angling away from her ball carrier. So that would be okay. She couldn't go after the black player in front of her because she would be going towards the ball carrier. So her job is to hold that other player by staying between her and her ball carrier. The ball got passed to their number three and the blue number two that we're watching just overrode the player that she's following or she was marking up and has let her get loose. So now, in order to mark up, continue marking up that black player that she was marking up, she has to move toward her blue, toward her ball carrier. So it is not appropriate to mark up that player now. What she should just hang out behind and away from the pack and let her ball carrier be available so her ball carrier could throw the ball to her. So she's heading toward her ball carrier to ride off that black player, which is not appropriate. And then he gets kind of in a a crowd. But once she passes her ball carrier up, now it is appropriate for her to mark up that player that she was already marking up. And since she her ball carrier is behind her, all she has to do is stay on one side of her. And once again, when the player she's marking up turns away, she turns away also. She should have remained facing downfield, and if she couldn't continue marking that player up, just let her go, and she had been a good place to catch a pass. And then here, since she didn't stay on one side of that ball carrier, I mean, of her, the person she is defending, and she followed around behind them, uh, and then let the person she's defending get between her and the ball carrier. Um, once her ball carrier turns downfield and wants to go downfield, she doesn't have a clear side to go to get past that defender. 
And then, once again, she moves toward her ball carrier to mark up a player before her ball carrier finally gets rid of the ball. Now we'll watch the blue number three, which is the player farthest to the right right now. And her number one has just picked up the ball in order for her to, our number three, to pick up a player she'd have to go toward her ball carrier for any of them so she should not try to pick up a player what she should do is hang out away from the pack being available for a pass so she does kind of hang out in a pretty good spot and the ball carrier does want to throw it to her and she takes the pass now she has one player to deal with on her left which is not a problem but she has you know another player approaching on her right so she has to you know make some accommodations to deal with that other player she's got a little space so it doesn't have to do it right this second but she should be realize that there is another player heading her way uh, coming up on her right side so as she works her way down the field uh, one of her options was to just go down really fast but her number one was not was kind of being held over the side of the area and wasn't going to be available for a pass um, another option to to slow down um, would be to allow that player that's next to her to bend her sideways to the field and then as that second player comes up let her come also to the sideways of the field the sideways of the field and leaving her teammate back in the middle of the field to throw the ball to um, but the teammate started riding that player off toward the ball carrier which she shouldn't have done according to the book and did actually keep her away from our ball carrier until they passed her up so now She's turned away to get, you know, because she needed, still has had time because her, her number one wasn't clear yet. So she's turned away now twice from that player. And when she turns back up field, uh, it looks like she needed to wait a little bit of time instead of running straight in there. But she still gets in front of the black number or player on her left you know controlling her and moves up to the line before the player that she had turned away from could come around the backside and get to her stick so she did all her maneuverings all right or correctly um but i'd say her teammate didn't do her job correctly so it gave our ball carrier less options of carrying the ball down the field. Heather gets it straight out of the lineup. Heather passes it off to Chrissy. Stephanie's whipping the horse. UK Australia's trying to get that ball back. I'd be pretty scared if I was playing against the lady. They're, they're tough. Chrissy's trying to get the ball around Larry. First, we'll watch the blue number two, and her number one has just snagged it out of the lineup, and our, all of the blue players except for her are behind her on the field, so she sh can move away from either one of them um, to pick up a player, and she is in a good position. And the appropriate one to pick up is her for just move forward and pick up that black number two. So our uh, the number one that snagged it had thrown it off 
pass it off to our number three, which shouldn't have changed the job for our number two, and she should still be marking up the black number two. Uh, it looks like the black number two may be trying to head to try to hold up our blue number one, but that doesn't change our blue number two's job. Our blue number two's job is to just stay uh, up against that black number two, clearing that side of the field for the ball carrier. She shouldn't have to worry about her number one getting down the field. The number one can deal with that herself. So, but then for some reason, our blue number two overrides the player she was supposed to be marking up. And now the player she's marking up is heading towards the ball carrier. And for our player to continue marking her up would not be correct because that would make our number two moving toward her ball carrier to mark up that player. It would be okay for her to go forward and get the black number three, um, but the black number three isn't um, bothering her ball carrier from getting down the field. So uh, it would still be correct for her to go forward and mark up the black number three, but if she doesn't go after that one, it's not correct for her to try to mark up either of the other players. But our player does turn and start moving toward her ball carrier to mark up that player. And she continues moving toward her ball carrier to mark up that player until the ball carrier starts to turn away. Now it would be appropriate for her to go after the player that she's already going after. And since she's in front of the ball carrier, to just hold, just stand up against one side of that player holding them uh, parallel with the length of the field. Of course, here she missed the opportunity to hold her, hold that defender facing down the field, staying on one side of her. And then um, now she's in a position that could be appropriate. If she stays on the right side of that defender, keeps facing downfield, uh, she would be doing her job by leaving that right side of the field open for her ball carrier to get down the field if she wanted to. But here, once that person she's defending kind of gets out of her way where she has to start moving toward her ball carrier to continue marking her up. She should have just stopped. Once that black player turned back to the left away from her and the ball carrier was coming up on the left, our the player that we're watching there, that number two, the blue number two, should have just stopped right where she was and just waited over there and been available for a pass. So she was moving toward her ball carrier just then to mark up that black player, which was not correct. Now that her ball carrier turns away, now she can get up against that black player that's in front of her and just keep on that side, just stand flat on that side of her uh, and that would be appropriate and she would be making a, a path for her uh, for her ball carrier to get down the field but she holds her for a second and then lets her get away again and now once again since she actually her ball carrier is angling away from her right now but the ball carrier is wanting to go down to where she is heading so she's getting pretty close to heading toward her ball carrier to mark up that player which is incorrect and if that player is to get away from her 
like she should let it get away from her so she doesn't continue going after the torture ball carrier. She should just stop. Stop right where she's at and let that player go and she would be in a good spot to uh, take a pass from her ball carrier. So here she's moving toward her ball carrier, which is incorrect. And it looks like she is letting that player go finally, which is the appropriate thing to do. And if she is doing that, then what she should do is just hold up right where she is. It would be better if she were facing the direction she wants her to go down. She wants to be going down the field. But stopping right there in that position should be perfect to receive a pass if her ball carrier wants to to pass the ball to her and sure enough she does kind of slack off and she's in a good spot if the ball carrier wants the option of passing it off to her player she's in a good spot to get that her ball carrier isn't in a danger right now it looks like she might be setting up to pass directly into her number one and may have time to do that but if not uh if she gets under pressure from these two black players coming up she would have our number two that we're watching open in a good spot to pass the ball off to her so now she's uh, the player we're watching isn't really um staying off being available for a pass anymore and she's actually starting to move now toward a ball carrier again um, to mark of a player now if she's actually heading toward the black number one where she is going heading toward the area that her ball carrier is leaving not to the area where her ball carrier is heading to uh, that would be okay that's like angling away from the player she's not quite angled that way yet but if that's where she's planning to go it would not be incorrect so sure enough she was heading for the black number one and that was okay at that point and she, what now that her ball carrier is in front of her what she needs to be doing is keeping her self between the black number one on her right and her ball carrier but she overrode there and has given that defender the opportunity to head back toward the ball carrier and in order for our person to continue marking her up she would have to be heading toward her ball carrier which would not be appropriate to do but she does hit toward her ball carrier to mark up that player and is really not keeping anyone from her ball carrier and she is not away from the pack enough to be clear to get a pass. So now that her ball carrier is turning away from her if she can go forward and pick up or she could actually go forward and pick up either side of the black player that's in front of her and be doing her job if she would just go forward on the other black on that black player's left side and just hold that side open it up that left side or It'd be the right side of the field uh, that would be the one of the proper things to do here and she actually did pick up that player but then as soon as she got up against it she turned toward a ball carrier all she had to do is hold one side of that player so when she first got up to him, if she would have just stayed facing upfield, 
flat up against that other player, she would have been doing her job. Now that she's turned toward her ball carrier, it isn't appropriate. But in order to do the correct thing now, she needs to look back and pick up that black player behind her and hold her crossways to the field or, you know, get between her and the ball carrier so that that player cannot get toward the ball carrier again. And she can do that, our our number two can do that, without moving toward her ball carrier. And it looks like she does turn back and pick that player up like she is supposed to. And that is, you know, she did it from that point. She did it correctly. Okay, now we'll watch the blue number three. Her number one has just snagged it in the lineup. And our three standing, and the number one, although she's hidden away from the pack, is pretty much in the pack still. And so our number three standing away from the pack, being available for a pass, is very appropriate. So sure enough, the one passes the ball to the number three, and the three starts carrying it down the field. And she does a few things correctly. She angles away, keeping that black player away from within reach of her stick. Uh, she turns away from her when she decides to make her turn and holding her on her left side non-stick side is good and then right here she makes a mistake or does something contrary to the book and turns toward an opposing player and uh, exposes her racket to them so um, even though she got a racket within reach she is able to get past that player and still doing okay she turns away from the other black player before she gets within reach of the racket so that is okay so here when she turns away from that one player there's a chance that she turned in front of that other player that was already coming up on her left side but she just stops and lets things settle down and then jumps out in front of him and heads down towards you know, open space, and at about this point, she it looks like she's made a decision to quit being in control of that black player that was next to her in order to get out in front of her and possibly get the pass off into her, her, her play in front. But she should realize she is no longer in control of a player that is close to her on the field, and she may have to do something else if, if she doesn't get that pass off to the number one in time. And here she's getting up to where the uh, player, black player on her left pretty much has her left side covered. And the other black player is coming up toward with her in, in reach of a racket. And the appropriate thing to do here would be to toss it back there to her number two who's out in the clear, open, and waiting or to flip it on in to the number one. Looks like she, uh, if she throws it quickly, her number one is clear for that. The black number three looks like is heading to get between her and the pass. And so if she doesn't throw it quickly, she'll miss that opportunity to throw it directly to her number one. Uh, but she's getting in a position where she needs to do something else to you know, keep from getting the ball under pressure. And what she elected to do and was actually lucky to be able to do is let the black player on her left override her and turn toward that player, which isn't an appropriate thing to do however she was out of other options because her number two was no longer in the clear and uh, her right side was covered up okay she stays away from that player coming up on her right side or stick side 
And then when she decides to turn away, she makes an illegal turn by turning in front of somebody that's already coming up on her left side. And when we watch this further, you'll see that that black player coming up on her left side had to stop or change her her uh, speed or direction in order to prevent colliding with our ball carrier. So it would have been an illegal illegal turn, and it should have been called as a penalty against the blue team. So there she turns, and that other player had to stop or change her direction in order to keep from colliding with her, so that's what made that turn illegal. But it got both of those black players on her non-stick side now. And she turns away from one. That's okay. And turning away, she now this time, when she turns away from the player on her left, she's not turning in front or crossing the player, the other black player, because the other black player had already headed toward her left side. So the other black player is going to have to make a turn to be heading toward the side our player is turning. So this turn away is legal. And she keeps her racket out away from the uh, you know player that did come up on her racket side until she gets the pass off. Okay, first I've watched the blue number two, and her number one has just picked up the ball, and our blue number two is up there right behind the number one. Um, anyhow, once, so her teammate has just gotten the ball, and so she should pick up a player if she can do so without going toward her ball carrier. It looks like she's in danger of going toward her ball carrier to pick up either one of those black players on her right. So she could just check back and pick up that black player trailing the, trailing the pack legally. But if she goes after either one of those players on her right, she's probably going toward her ball carrier, which would not be appropriate. So here she continues going toward her ball carrier to mark up a player. And then when her player starts to turn away, now she can be angling away from her ball carrier to pick up that player that is on her right. So it would be appropriate to ride that player off now. And all she wants to do is get up beside that player and uh, face parallel to the field and hold, uh, stand up against one side of that player. So she does get up beside that player, but when that player that she's marking up starts turning farther away, our player should not turn any more than parallel to the field. If she wants to stay up against that player, she should be holding her horse, her own horse, uh, parallel to the field and just moving sideways up against whatever part of that horse she needs to be up against. But she should not turn more her horse more toward that other player. She only crossways to the field, or only parallel to the field. So I imagine she would have followed that player all the way around, but that player actually turned back, and that uh, put our player in the correct position. That opposing player actually put our blue player in the correct position to hold her away or between uh, the defender and the ball carrier just like she's supposed to. Okay, now watch the blue number three who is at the top of the screen right now. And she was, I don't know, trying to control her horse or something, ran out of bounds and is out of, actually is not even in the rest of this play. <laughs> 